Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much. It's just amazing how we can connect and resonate with so many things that impact our lives in a big way, um, even for the future as well as the present. And just to be able to know that, you know, a lot of us are going through the same things with different situations is just truly amazing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. I'm trying to get my um <laughs> I'm trying to get my camera straight. Um if you are comfortable enough Please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift, how it impacts your life and head you towards a positive direction. Also, um, if you feel like the videos give you good vibes or just good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath, they're going through uh, trying times and need spiritual guidance or need confirmation or validation towards their life path or soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my background meditation music is so peaceful, too. Um, I know I was about to do my video, and then it, it messed up, so it's like all the lights start flashing and stuff, so I had to restart it all over again because it really caught me off guard. Uh, is 741 hertz remove toxins super uh, detoxification soul detoxification oral cleansing and binarial beats and I will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about uh, twin flame 101 hey Ocas, we are living in our last day days so make it count it is so true I was having a discussion with my love bugs it's, it's so crazy how um, like I can be on a one-on-one -on -one or just talking to people and it's just like you know we're having an open discussion about certain things or whatever that's impacting our life or things that we have noticed has changed through different stages and stuff like that and that drew out to me you know it's just like my mom's you know my mom and my you know my grandparents and stuff like that my mom always used to tell me we're all living on our last days I'm just like what the hell am I about to die you know I was like what well, stop saying that but it is so true and it's like and look Unless God feel like we need to be reincarnated and that that's a whole nother thing and be like look I ain't trying to come back <laughs> you know once I leave don't make me come back so that's why we need to all get you know get right with ourselves get right with our you know our lives the things that we're passing on you know it's just like my daughter's uh, aunt passed away a few days ago of cancer you know and it's just like I was talking to one of my love bugs and you know how we feel unfulfilled in our lives we're not satisfied there's times that we complain about stuff that can be really petty or it's just things that we you know we get drawn in when it comes to illusion and it's just like so many people are these days are passing away from seizures like uh, Cameron Boyle this boy was only 20 years old I remember seeing him on you know a Disney show called Jesse but where I remember him from is from this movie with uh, Paula Patton Thicke and uh, Keanu Reeves he was their son um, playing in the movie mirrors you know I always thought that little boy was so special I didn't know what was what it was about him but he had a powerful energy you know and he's done you know he's somewhat of an empath as well too I really felt that strongly of him because just the way you know that they presented him about things that he did on his pastime because um, I think his grandmother was like a civil rights activist or something like that where they she was like the first group or helped him get into an unsegregated school back in the day and everything like that but it's just like so many people had plans for the next day that did not wake up that morning so it's just like when we're really going through things you have to think about these people that are sitting in these hospitals or you know are in hospice or something like that you know trying to you know struggling just to breathe you know it's just like we have to make our lives count you know there's yes there's days of sadness there's days of things that has went on to our lives that you know has really impacted us in a negative way the way we look at people the way we carry ourselves the way we respond there's so many people living in depression where they're pushing their hatred out on us 
us. And it's just like we are in our moments to where we need to just grow the hell up out of that. You know, it's just like life is too precious for us to sit around and be unhappy about things. You know, if there's things in your life that you can change, do that. <laughs> you know, change that. You know, you have the power to do that. There's a lot of times I find myself in a good mood and then boom, here comes a negative, you know, you know, memory, you know, and I'm just like, I separate myself from this. I don't even, this doesn't even belong to me anymore, you know, and it, it was bad because it was like, sometimes I didn't even realize, but I was, you know, engaging myself into these painful scenarios that I get constantly reliving in. And it's just like, when you bring up a painful situation, you know, um, I used to do that. You know, doing going going on one on one with people and letting them know. But it's just like if I can say it in a positive way, where a negative situation is brought up about uh, about a positive, you know, impact in my life. I don't mind saying that. But it's just actually reliving that whole, you know, dark situation. Of you know, you're only you're gonna do is you know uh, hurt yourself. You know, it's just like you're drawing yourself right back to that square one again. And we really need to try to find a, a better therapeutic way of dealing with, you know, pain that we have dealt with, you know, different abuses that we have, uh, has been afflicted on to our lives. You know, we have to be able to release those things. It's just like we have so many beautiful blessings that are coming toward us. You know, we're that, you know, we're this generation that's breaking, cutting those cords. So, of course, we're going to go through a lot of hell. That was the whole point. You know, because we had to be able to cut those cords, you know, being able to deal with that, that takes a lot of strength. That takes a lot of power. And we all have that instilled in us if we can just open our hearts and just recognize the things that are already instilled in us. There's a lot of time we're always, I can't do this. I can't do that. And it's just the only thing that's holding us back is ourselves. You know, um, a lot of times we feel like uh, we can't do this because we don't have money or anything like that. We can manifest different things of you know going around certain things that we want to place in our lives without having that you know that need for money you know it's just like we have to be able to do things you know just in an unselfless way not worry about getting things back because it's like you know I always used to be like you know I always push out positivity I go out my way to help people and look at the situation I'm still in yes I might still be in a situation but obviously there are certain some certain things in this situation I still have to learn there are certain situations you know, this situation is bringing me part to a part of places I need to be healed at. So, you know, there's things that I'm learning every day about myself as being the person I am and, you know, the things that I'm into. A lot of us feel that dark, heavy energy on us. We're empaths, so we soak up all that stuff. <laughs> you know, all these crazy things gravitate towards us just because we're an energy magnet and it doesn't matter if it's heavy or sad or mad or frustrated we soak up all that stuff like we have this big man magnet on our back saying hey pick me you know so we have to find better therapeutic ways and as soon as I said that lights start flickering so uh, just going through all that you know it, it's just like I sent out so much love and like positivity towards people you know to be able to give them that perception of being able to look at how life is really precious you know we can't spend it thinking about the people that have hurt us they're still trying to go on probably trying to find the next damn victim to sit up here and place that blame upon don't allow yourself to be still controlled by things that's no longer happening in your life and if there's things that you are trying to get out of your certain kar karmic cycle that you're going through make that mess count you see what the hell is trying to teach you sometimes we gotta sit back not be in emotion not be where we're sad and stressed you have to be in that calm moment see why am I still in this situation? What is the universe trying to teach me? What do I need to heal from? What is, what is it trying to have me learn? You know, and there's a lot of things I'm going through. Faith and patience. You know, like I tell you, I'm a Taurus. And I got Leo, Gemini, uh, Scorpio, Libra, and what else? Capricorn. And I, 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 there's another one there, but I can't remember. But all those different things wrapped up in one. That's like a ticking time bomb. It don't need to be coming off, you know. So it's just like I, I love the fact that I can just sit down in my one self, you know, and connect with my higher self and see the things that, you know, the universe is trying to teach, you know, teach me. And while I'm in my situation, you know, a lot of times we we make our situation a lot worse than it actually is you know we can see things in a uh illusion 
where it's been placed upon us to where we have to be able to walk outside the illusion, walk outside the matrix, get out of that 3D level, being able to rise above, you know, um, just being able to know that we are not our product of things that's been placed upon us. You know, uh, we're living in our last day. It's not meant for us to sit up here and live the rest of our days depressed, sad, you know, holding ourselves back, putting limited, you know, beliefs on ourselves, you know, not stepping outside the box because we're scared of, you know, the unknown. Yes, it's scary. You never know what's going on, but how would you ever learn about anything or making your life count if you're sitting back in a box? You know, there's so many of us that, you know, have went through things. You know, all of us has went through things. All of us has had really tragic situations that has occurred, that impacted our life in the most tragic way. But it's like you have this strength inside of you that is just not allowing you to quit. No matter how much you want to give up, you know, you might want to lay down and take that rest. That's fine. You know, the universe, they can't, you know, you're in human form. You're going to have to stop and refuel every once in a while. You know, I push myself until I feel like, you know, look, I need to recharge. Like yesterday, it was a blessing to me. You know, um, earlier this week, you know, I was helping my daughter, keeping her in the right mind because death really affects her in a bad way. You know, she carries depression in her heart, you know, and I'm trying to help her heal through all those different things. So I had to take time out for my kids, you know, to make sure they're okay. So all these things, it made me think about it. You know, there are so many people that are passing away left and right. You know, some some things over senseless things. Some of them has that that contract where they know they were only supposed to be here for that short period of time and make that you know powerful impact in somebody's life. They've done their you know they've done their contract and they signed it and now they're off. You know, and it's sad. You know, because there's I mean, even though it's a circle of life, we always hold them dear. You know, it just goes through our mind like they're still trying to process. They're you won't be able to pick up that phone and talk to them anymore or, you know, go visit them and have, you know, lunch or whatever. Anything that you like to do with loved ones that has passed, you know, but that don't mean they're just in the next next form. You know, they're always still with us, but it's just actually that feeling, you know. So it is just allow yourself to learn what you need to learn. Let go whatever you need to let go. Heal the way you need to heal. You have that power instilled in yourself as long as you can be able to have the courage to be able to see it within yourself. You know, it's a beautiful thing uh, when I'm able to, you know, see that in people. You know, a lot of us are still dealing with narcissistic vibes, you know, or different things around us. We have to understand those are the people there to challenge us, to walk into our strength, to see our power. You know, um, those are supposed to be those people that are in there. You know, it's just to let us know, hey, you know, you're about that and some. <laughs> you know, you are the shit. You know, excuse my language, but basically, basically you are. You see all these daggone lights keep popping off and all that stuff. So, you know, I'm, I send that love out to everybody, you know. Um, being able to see things that, you know, normal other people can't see with inside you is, is just beautiful and is very genuine. So don't allow things that has been placed into your life, you know, to put that speed bump to where you don't want to, you know, venture out and see what life, life has to offer you. Go ahead and make that choice, you know. You don't have to be an adrenaline junkie. I'm not seeing so many folks up here crawling upside walls and buildings and make me want to be seasick and you I don't, I don't want to do all that because shoot, I ain't trying to do, I ain't try to end my contract like that that quick. No, no, I'm good. But you know, live thing, live it up. You know, make your life count. You know, yes, it is sad that things has been placed on our lives, but does that mean you need to go ahead and play that broken record of? those those dark situations forever be able to lay those things to rest because those tragedies in your life is going to be that step stone that milestone to be able to let you know how much strength and power you have instilled in yourself that you weren't aware of as soon as i said that my phone lit the hell up um so and it had one two three on there so that's that's good so I hope you were able to resonate. You know, I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. I'm going to go ahead and do a few videos. You know, I just had to be able to recharge and, you know, so it's like, oh, now it's time for me to go ahead and do these. And I'm going to go ahead and lay back down as well. <laughs> go ahead and do all that. But, you know, like I said, I hope everybody has a blessed, safe weekend. Um, if you are new to my channel, uh, welcome. Uh, I got a new... Uh, a new group page that I've opened up. I said, I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can mention it as, 
as much as I can throughout my videos as you know being able to have that platform for people to get out of their comfort zone have them speak up for the things that they're you know they're they're struggling to get through you know there's no judgment there I don't play that any kind of bullying you know your ass is out ain't got time you know I like I have here I have a positive platform for people to open up their feelings and say the things that they have been struggling with or different things they have noticed that has came to their life that has drawn their attention towards something positive or you just needing somebody to talk to like I said anybody who wants to do a one-on-one -on -one with me uh, they're not open to want to you know put their stuff out on public I understand but my group page is called a, a Hayoka spiritual journey that's what it's called a Hayoka spiritual journey um, basically I want to be able to you know have that out for people to be able to step out of the comfort zone you know we have questions of the day I already said I'm gonna go ahead I just started that today where we can be open on telling each other hey you know how what positive techniques do you use to uplift your energy to put yourself in a positive energy because there's so many times we're stuck in depression um, we're introverts to where we really don't like dealing with a lot of people we're dealing with different things that we're struggling with when it comes to abuse or whatever I want to be able to you know help people get back in that positive flow you know it's just it's sad to be able to see somebody in that dark you know that dark frame of mind at that time so it's it's there you you can put out you know different funny memes or posts that you you know that really resonate with us as being empaths um links on certain things that might be occurring you know throughout the planet that might affect us you know as empaths that we need to know about because our energy shifts and change and you know energy sucks out so we'll, it'll be good for us to be able to have that heads up on certain things that come off and you know be able to have open and discussions about different things that we go through but like I said I want to be able to open that platform up just to be able to even if you have you know your artist um, or you you sing or something like that you're able to put all these different things on there you know like I said it's a private group um, that I've established uh, and just being able to have people be more open on wanting this talk but I know a lot of you know like y'all y'all are connected with me so it took a while for you to be able to talk but even if you don't and you want to participate but you really don't want to say nothing on that platform you can always contact me on Facebook Messenger and just look me up under my name I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one empath counseling you know to be able to help them figure out why things are the way they are so I was blessed from the universe to be able to do things like that but anyways I want to go ahead and give a post not notification shout out to be much love to you and Katie straight much love to you as well and I will see you on my next video know that you were truly blessed highly favorite forever love and knowing you're always you know, if somebody's always out there praying for your better days, I pray that everything you're working hard for comes and blossoms into your life. Tell as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can, because you never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way. Like I said, like and subscribe, give me a thumbs up, share, um, drop me a line, let me know if you resonate, and I'll see you on my next video. Much love, peace.